That's all I got for you.
Hey everybody, how's it going? Chris the Cop here. Welcome back. Thanks for watching. And yes, this was a unexpected, non-planned, last-minute stream. For those of you that are logging in, thanks for joining me. I'll give you the reason why I decided to do a stream today as opposed to tomorrow. And uh, yeah, well, okay, so let's just right get into it. The reason why. All right, <clears throat> so this week is going to be a busy, busy week for me. Um, as of last, last week, you could see I put a lot of content out. There's a Among Us video where I played with several of my Discord members. Uh, I was first waiting for Gameology to see if they wanted it. Uh, they want a little something different, so we're going to work on that in the future. And uh, let's see here. I'm looking at just right some of the notes here. Um, okay, cool. We're still seeing or stream is still going. And uh, let me see here. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, the other reason why. Um, oh, so tomorrow the construction company is going to come and demo my kitchen and living room. So that's uh, going to be really, really noisy. I'm going to have to be running around doing different things, moving stuff. So I would, I'm totally not going to be available tomorrow um, at 4.30 to do a stream. So I was like, you know what, let's get some stuff done today and let's get a stream going. I'm going back to my content. So as you guys saw, I put a lot of content out last week. Um, and that was to give you guys something to watch because this week we're probably only going to get L.A. Noir, maybe a Five Nights at Freddy Day 2, Night 2. Uh, and I have to try to film a SWAT 4 for Friday because then after that, I'm going to be gone for a couple of days. Uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I won't even be back online till Tuesday. I'm going to be offline from uh, essentially Saturday till Tuesday afternoon. And we'll be able to stream Tuesday at 4.30. Uh, so uh, let's see here. I'm going to go back up to the streams and say hi to everybody that's here. Hey, Fox. Hey, Victoria. Christian. Spencer. Da, da, da. Mark's here with his cool uh, members only badge or yeah badges. So if you love his badge, gotta become a member. Just just saying. Uh, let me see here. JJ PMB is here. Is the whiz? Is the whiz? Gotta say, man, your comment about my brother brought tears to my eyes. Good tears. I literally, and I'm actually thinking about it right now, and I don't want to think about it because I'll start crying in front of you guys. Um, that was just such an awesome visual of picturing my little brother dressed as Superman watching over me. And it was just like... Okay. Anyways, it was a it's great, great um, visualization. Thank you. I really appreciate that. And that was, uh, is the whiz. If you just read his comment, go to the picture of my brother and find his comment. It's just a phenomenal comment. And I do thank all of you for your kind words about that. Um, one of the reasons why I wanted to share that story with you guys was um, I wanted to kind of show you that bad things happen to all of us. Um, obviously, the bad thing happened to my brother as he passed away, but um, also that you know he you know he's not here with me for us to you know be brothers. He was my only brother. And I kind of anticipated that at this age, him and I would be hanging out, having a beer, talking about life, and uh, that was uh, taken away from me. So I wanted to share that with you and remind all of you: while bad things happen in your life, um, keep going, and we got to look for the good and stay strong and persevere during those tough times. And uh, yeah, that's, that's it. No one's life is perfect. You can look at celebrities and you know actors and man, they have billions and millions of dollars and they live in these extravagant homes and they have probably everything they want, but in reality, um, they have problems too. So uh, never judge your life based upon their life. Uh, let's see here, Frozen's here, uh, Weirder Witchy's here. Spencer, BLV Dave, Shuriken. Da, 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 trying to catch up. 
John Doe. John Doe. <laughs> I love the name. Uh, thanks, Spencer. Thanks, Victoria. I appreciate that. Creative, thank you. I will. I will check it out. It's on my list. All right. All right. Okay. So, you guys ready for a little Alley Noir? Um, I got my lemonade from um, Chick fil A. I also have my Heroes and Villains Dungeons and Dragons shirt. No, I'm not sponsored by them. I'm working on it. Would love to be. So, I just, you know, I'll tell them hey, 13,000 people just hear, heard about Heroes and Villains, right? Uh,. Oh, you do. I'm sorry about the. Uh, I'm sorry about the sound in the background, guys. All right, so let's get going. All right, let's do this. Let's have some fun. Uh, yes, I have been uh, three musketeers. Hey, okay, so guys, real quick. I know some of you aren't new to the stream, and um, for those of you that don't know about Chris the Cop. Gaming channel. I'm Chris the Cop. I'm a real police officer playing video games, talking everything nerd. Right now, we're currently playing Alley Noir on Mondays or Tuesdays, which is a live stream. On Fridays, a SWAT 4 video drops. And on Sundays, we have special videos. Uh, if you uh, like what you see, hit that subscribe button. What you get is a real police officer talking about video games and, like I said, everything nerd. Bell icon for instant notifications. We have an awesome Discord channel, which is really friendly, and you I pop in and out seven days a week. Let's see what else we have. We have chats. We have super chats. We have a membership. We now have a merch. Everything is right there for you. So if uh, you want to show your support, uh, you can show your support. Uh, also, as many of my uh, followers know, is that I love support in the way of also of just views and thumbs up. We don't like thumbs down. And uh, I do want to find a jerk that's thumb downing all my videos. I get one thumb down on every video and we all know who that is. Um, so yeah, that's it. And let's see here. Uh, yeah, let's solve some stuff. Oh, after, please uh, try to save your questions for after the case because I do a Q&A for about 20 minutes where I'll answer some of your questions. And then I got to bail, especially got a lot of stuff going on tonight. I got to finish uh, packing up my kitchen to uh, put everything away. I think that's where I was going with the story. And then Tuesday, uh, they're demoing. Wednesday, they're demoing. And I go back to work Wednesday afternoon anyways. And just so all of you know, I have my chief's oral. I passed my captain's test. And now I have my chief's oral on Wednesday. So... This is it. If he there's there's three of us, he's considering. So we'll see what happens. And uh, what else? And then I start my work week, guys. And then I'm gonna take a little mini vacation because I have to. Uh, I got to take care of some. Uh, got to take care of some personal stuff. Um, so that's why I'll be offline Saturday through Tuesday. And Tuesday we will be back for a 4:30. And if you're a military time person, 16:30 stream of La Noir. All right. Here we go. Let's do this. All right. <laughs> kind of. I'm kind of glad I'm here with you guys. Actually, I'm no. I'm not kind of. I am glad I'm here with you guys right now. I needed this. I needed just to take a break and relax. I was on duty till one o'clock this morning and uh, I definitely needed this. So, manifest destiny. All right. Earl Phelps, a shooting at the 111 Club, 6232 Hollywood Boulevard. Sounds like a homicide beat. Two of the dead guys caught in the crossfire were carrying army surplus morphine. Get over there before homicide tramples all over the place. We already cleared that up. Judge in Pasadena took the big sleep yesterday. He had a personal stash of 20 cigarettes. Appears we didn't get all of it. I'm busy. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving on. 
up to a 45. I want to put him down in one round. Rainbow person, I know who you are. All right, let's do this. Let's go to the 111 club. Just can't seem to put this morphine to sleep. A dead judge. It's not good. Everyone has their vices. Even you, Phelps. Oh, jeez. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. Sorry. <laughs> You guys there? We good? Got a stakeout down on second later tonight. I'm I clicked it. You guys should be able to see it. Are we there? I'm gonna wait. Okay, there we go. Alright. Wow, that's a delay. There is literally a fifteen second delay between you guys and me. Sorry about that. Hey, let's play Alley Noir and watch Chris do this. <laughs> That's so funny. Wouldn't that be funny? Hey, that was an awesome stream, Chris. Oh, really. You Wish wait. we could have enjoyed it, right? All right, let's see where we're going. The one 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 club. All right. Oops. Why? Well, I do kind of want to see the map. Sorry, guys. I know he'll give me directions, but I guess kind of want to see where we're gonna go. So if I make a right out of the driveway, head up Wilcox, and make a right on Hollywood Boulevard. Hey, so let me ask you guys a question about this. Who would be interested in me or uh, watching a video of me going to the landmarks of Alley Noir and taking pictures of what they currently look like uh, today as opposed to the 1940 pictures? So leave your comments below. Let me know. Parker and Green are going toe-to-toe -to -toe for the top job. There's a change in the wind. Make a right turn. About time. This wind will be like a tornado, Phelps. Parker's got a puritanical streak. You never know we'll get swept up in a thing like that. Real quick, guys. This is real. Parker, he's talking about the, cha the, the change between the two chiefs of police. Parker ends up becoming, in real, this is real, ends up becoming the real chief of police at LAPD, when he eventually retires, they build the the new police station is renamed uh, is named after him called Parker Center. That has since changed because they now have a new police station. So yes, Chief Parker ends up becoming the chief of police. They build Parker Center, which ends up being LAPD headquarters for almost three decades, I believe. Any central unit suspect to be taken into custody at Southern California Auto Club. Stand by for further unit to handle identify code 2. It's the next left. I know some of you guys ask about what is true about L.A. Noir? That's true. That part is definitely a, good, a part of it. Go straight. Okay. Just yell at me. Stay straight on this road. Take the next right. Take the next left turn. Okay.
Hey, John Doe, I saw your comment right now. You say all those Gameology videos must be doing the channel some good. They are, but Gameology has 750,000 followers and each one of my videos gets 1 million of hits. Mine get 1,300, 1,500. So who's helping who? Just kidding, Gameology. I love you guys. I didn't either, Zach. Last minute. Take the next right. Okay. Homicide guys are already inside. Is it my buddy Rusty? Bukowski. Phelps. Back again. We're here about the morphine. Over by the bandstand. You can see what's left of the owner, Eddie McGoldrick, 26, former Marine. What? I know Eddie McGoldrick. He was a non-com in my old unit. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that, Cole. Waitress said he recently came into some money and bought the club. Who are the other Vicks? Two musicians, Biddleston and Bo. And get this, they used to be in a four-piece, but the trombone player and the drummer OD'd. Don't tell me. Lamont and Tyree? We've met the rest of the band. Now there are no peace. <laughs> Do you mind if we take a look around? Be my guest. You jerk. You might want a word with the hostess, too. I'll keep her company until you're ready. Yeah, uh, what a jerk. Must have pumped a dozen rounds into him. Certainly sends a message. Uh-oh. A little. Yes, I will be playing Rainbow Six uh, eventually. Just so you guys know that are coming in right now, uh, if you save your questions after we have a Q&A after I, I do this, it's really hard for me to uh, look at both the, uh, the chat and... Uh, so just FYI. Hey, what's up there? Measure Schmidt ME 163 comment and Anika. Thank you. The blue turtles here. Cool. All right. When you're ready to have a civil conversation, we can try again. Uh -oh. Oh, the old matchbook. We haven't had a matchbook for a while. Hey, I like Rusty. Leave, leave him alone. Rusty's my favorite partner. He's just a drunk. Uh-oh. Messer Smith, or Smesher Smith, Messer Smith. Uh oh. Let's take a look inside here. Well maintained, custom case. Someone cared for this instrument. that click right never the same are they <gasps> neat trick the case must have cost more than the trumpet what we got there uh, we'll kept his stash there. close at hand Follow up on the musician angle. Okay. You guys see his uh, his band right there? I can't point to it, but uh, 
the little thing on top would be what he uh, would put around his arm to go ahead and uh, get his vein to pop up. Then you got the spoon to put the heroin in, morphine, and then uh, draw it back in the, the syringe. Cool. Hey, Templar. Another day, another dollar. A16, Darren. Do we have a new source, or is this coming from what's left in circulation? Okay. Let's go ahead and put that back in the dead body like we didn't touch it. <laughs> yeah, right, Mark? <laughs> Could be. I just want to make sure I'm not missing something there. Okay. Dozen packs to a carton, hundred cartons or more. Looks like a couple of months' supply. Yeah, it does. Ooh, they got guns. Why would they have guns? These look brand new. Never fired. They haven't been degreased yet. We could check on the serial numbers. Is this guy hunting for bear? Look at these things. They're BARs. You get the odd guy who sneaks one of them home from the war. How did he get three of them? Right. Okay. Army right. surplus morphine, army surplus weapons, army surplus valors. Sound familiar? We should get back to the station and check the details of what exactly was lifted from that ship. Just taking my last look around, guys. Uh, I heard the train sound, so we're good. You gotta talk to her. Ma'am, I'm Detective Phelps, Administrative Vice Squad. Welcome to the 111 Club, Detective. Feels like I've had half the LAPD in here today already. Any idea who did the shooting? No idea. It was my day off. If I had been here, honey, I'd be full of holes just like the others. Hmm. Uh, I don't like your expression, and you don't know anything, and we don't have any clues, so let's bad copper. You want to level with me, miss, before we start taking an interest in you? This place has been on the slide for years. Eddie turns up, buys the club, then we start getting visits from tough guys. Next thing you know, we have the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Are you getting the picture? Okay. Tell us about Eddie. Eddie didn't know a thing about running a nightclub. He came into some money hey, and waltzed in and bought the place. The previous owner thought all his Christmases had come at once. She's looking directly at me, so I'm a good copper. Where do you think he got the money? My guess was that he was selling the sort of quality product that you don't need to advertise. Thank you for your help, Matt. Eddie was in over his head, but he was a decent boss. Hey, Slides. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, I don't know, Mark, to be honest with you, on that one. I do not know. I mean, it probably came in through China, as it still is. Fentanyl is produced and distribute it out of China into Mexico, then into the United States. So, okay, let's get out of here. I thought we came in this way. Oh, there's a corner for Never the same, are they? 
We'll see you later. See you later, guys. We're out. Hey, I think I see a body. Uh, no filming today. All right, let's see where we're going. Let's go to the blue room. I'm driving. Because I'm badass that way. Okay, let's see where our map is. We are... Oh, make a U-turn. Let's see what we can do with this car. How well did you know the owner? Goldrick? <laughs> well enough. He was in my unit. That's some cruel irony. You survive the war, then get blown to pieces back home. It happens more than you'd think. Young guys trying to adjust to normal life, getting mixed up in... Yeah, strictly medical. Morphine's strictly medical. Oh, this is Phelps Bar. Take a break, boys. We would like them to stay, Miss Lickman. We're making inquiries into the recent deaths of four musicians. Since when have the police cared about dead black men? Good point. We don't. <laughs> what we care about is two tons of army surplus morphine showing up on the street. If you care about working in this town, you better give me something on Biddleston and Bo, or their knucklehead buddies Tyree and Lamont. And this is your idea of making inquiries understand fura? I've told you a thousand times about speaking that German gibberish at me, Elsa. Roy! How about you get a drink while I see to this? <laughs> Will you sit down? Let's sit down. Why antagonize him, Elsa? You know what he's capable of. Ask your questions, head officer. Hey, we have ben, People are dying of overdoses. If you know anything about it, you need to tell me. I can't help you. A lot of cats are into the thing. There's nothing special about your boys. Hey, Victoria. Yeah, you know what? What Rockstar, I actually want to answer that. What Rockstar was capturing was the essence of the 1940s. That's why I'm playing this game in 2021 and I hear the the racial slurs and racial stuff. It's like, wow, I, I can't even still believe that uh, Rockstar and their subsidiary got away with that. <laughs> it's amazing. So, all right. Okay, let's see here. Let is, I'm going to bad copper. You can do this the easy way with me what or I can call my partner way? back over. Hey, I can assure him. you, he's a lot less sensitive. You think your threats frighten me? Black man don't supply nothing. You what think there's a like? black man in this town holding on to two tons of morphine? He'd be dead in a minute. White man supplies, black man buys. Okay. My partner mentioned a couple of names. You recognize them? Thanks, Javier. I have no idea what you're talking about. Bad copping. The only way you're going to get rid of me is to give me an answer. I knew Cornell. We worked together a few years ago. He loved the music, but the music didn't love him. What does that mean? It means that he just wasn't that good. He was a sad, lonely cat. Boys, take five minutes, please. I need to have a private word with the officer. Why do you ask people to risk talking about a subject that could have them jailed? Drugs are against the law, Elsa. And you're so full of courage, you have never felt ashamed. This is getting us nowhere. Do you think you'll win your war against narcotics? It's not my war. It's against the law. My job is to prosecute the laws of this city. Do you think you can stop people from needing drugs, detective? I'm asking the questions here. Then why do you come to me with your stupid questions? You know who controls the drugs in this city. It's not enough to just survive, Elsa. You have to try and make the world a better place. Brave words. And very noble. But... Words are just words, Cole Phelps. She's right. 
We need to pay a visit to the mixer. Cohen, do you know where to find him? This time of day, you'll find him holding court at the Macambo. He can wait. There's something I need to be sure of. Give me till tomorrow morning. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, partner. Uh oh. No one can notice the police car sitting right there, right? Like 20 feet away. I'm inconspicuous. Okay, sorry guys. I usually go quiet when I'm driving. Just because I don't drive well. Okay, we got a couple cars between us and her. Oh, get out of my way. Really, really get out of my way. Damn! Fuck, I blew it. I think she saw me. Sorry for the curse words, guys. Move in. Can't risk losing the trail. Do I go up? Too much slack. Did she see me? Okay. Yeah, sorry. I I know I Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. We did it. I see where this is going. Uh oh. <coughs> uh oh. LAPD, we're looking for Mayor Cohen. I believe he has lunch here. There's not going to be any trouble, is there? Which table? Number three. If you'll follow me. Okay, we'll follow you. Says I, have real I think Roy's gonna snitch. He has some dirt on Sir, cold. Mr. Cohen's table is this way. Sam's taking me out of Palm Springs for the weekend. LAPD. We have some questions Hi, regarding. Mickey. How's it hanging? Fine. Just fine, Roy. Hmm. I see you brought Iga Beaver along. <laughs> Hope he's not gonna put the shakes on me again. Cole Phelps. Mickey Cohen. Good afternoon. <laughs> He has manners. Aren't you a little green for this kid? Meet Johnny Stompanato, Cole. He has the biggest schlong in Hollywood and the smallest gun. Or maybe that's the other way around. I can never quite remember. You're a funny guy, Roy. 
Haven't I always said what a funny guy Roy is? And how much fun it would be to get together with him sometime. Poor Johnny. He's the dark, sensitive type. He's a serviceman too, Cole. Johnny was at Okinawa. You were in the crotch? Sixth Marines. The lieutenant who won the Silver Star upon Sugarloaf. I've heard of you. Something like that. All right, have we finished flirting? You got something to discuss, Roy? You're going to stand around beating the meat while my lunch gets cold? We have some questions. Do I need my lawyer? Your brother-in-law, Lenny Finkelstein, was selling stolen morphine. He had one-third of the shipment. Old news, kid. I don't know anything about what Lenny was up to. Uh, we're bad copping him. He looks so I'm supposed there. to believe that you don't know what happened to the rest of the shipment? Lenny, God rest his soul, was a moron. He was family, though, and I haven't made a beef about that, so count yourself lucky, kid. The H is a filthy habit, and I don't condone it. The simple solution would be to have all the dope fiends put down. So you don't know where he got the morphine? Kid, ask a question you might get an answer to. We believe there's a link between a group of Marines and the morphine stolen from the SS Coolridge. Yes, I One of those Marines was shot to death in a club last night. I wouldn't know anything about that. Okay, it's Mad Cop. I'm sorry, guys. So you haven't heard anything about what happened at the 111 Club? What can I say, kid? I'm shocked that in the land of opportunity, Uncle Sam's finest feel the need to resort to crime. It's a dangerous business. I can attest to that. I'd recommend they get out of the life. Quickly. A few Negroes saying goodbye on the two, sidewalk two, will never two, make the two. papers, Mickey. But we had a judge in Pasadena say adios the other day. Prominent white people popping their clogs makes everyone nervous. You know dope has never been my thing, Roy. It's always been for schmendricks like uh, Jack D and Jimmy Utley. But uh, I'll ask around and I'll get back to you. Hey, you boys want some lunch? How about a drink? We'll take a rain check on that. Come on, Cole, we're leaving. We have to cut that dope. It looks bad with people dying. We have to get the rest of it. There's no way of watering down the stuff in those little packages. You have to put the squeeze on those guys and get the rest of it. They don't seem to type the fright in that easy. We'll see. Okay. Uh-oh, back at... What's going on? That fucking rat stoker has gone public about Brenda. Who is Brenda? Brenda is L.A.'s most famous madam. And everyone knows it? Of course everyone knows. Brenda pays her way. Are we cops or a collection agency? Ors have been around since the Bible. Our job is to keep it off the street so Joe Citizen and his wife can stroll around unmolested. Then we should change the law. Are you out of your mind? Every politician in America is against prostitution. Except when they're using them. So where does Stoker come in? He objects to the LAPD and the administration taking its cut. Is everyone in on this? Yeah, and that's the problem. From a little acorn does a large tree grow. He could bring the whole thing crashing down on us. Wow, they're really catching the essence of what was really going on. Aren't you then. supposed to be working the... <clears throat> Sir, do you know which robbery detectives are working the army surplus theft from the Coolidge? Caldwell and McManus. I saw Caldwell in the squad room not long ago if you want to speak to him. Okay. Thank you, sir. We'll do that. This way. Let's follow Roy. Harry, you got a minute? Sure, Cole, any time. You've been working the docks robbery on the SS Coolridge? Yeah, that's right. So how do you see it? Inside job. Either the guys working the wharves or some of the guys on the ship. What else was taken apart from the morphine? Case of BARs, case of Thompsons, crate of Valor Smokes. Homicide just recovered three BARs and a mountain of cigarettes at a shooting at the 111 Club. No kidding. I better get over there. Do you have a copy of the manifest? Yeah. Right in Here front of me, just so happened to have it. Okay. Let's so, see. how do we connect the docks robbery to the mess at the 111 Club? Okay, there's that 45. Enough to arm three companies. 30. The cigarettes. And the morphine. This is the crate we recovered. 
Here's our backroom arsenal from the 111 Club. Did I hit them all? Okay, I just want to make sure I hit them all. Right out of the police station. Okay. Where did... Okay. Bottom one? That's true. Oh, did I mess up? Okay, uh, let me go. Half a million Surettes oh, loose on the Thanks. streets of L.A. Cool. Thanks. Some Thanks of these guys are from my old unit. They must have finally shipped home. Kelso, Sheldon, McGoldrick. McGoldrick was on the boat? Sure, we checked him out. McGoldrick bought the 111 Club, Harry. His brains are all over the bar. <laughs> Looks like whoever stole the dope is getting muscled. By whom? Dragner or Cohen. They control the hop. Detectives. KGPL's going crazy. Shots fired at 1384 North Bronson. Some guy with an automatic spraying a Hollywood bus. They want every car. Go! I want to make homicide. You know you make... Oh. Go! Oh! Come on! What are you doing? I hate the way Cole runs. Let's go! Let's go! Go to our car! Let's go! Let's go! Come on, let's go to our car. Let's go. You're hurting me. Oh. Is that his destination? Okay, let's take a look at the map. We are going. Okay, I gotta... Can I just uh, make a left? On uh, Wilcox, make immediate left on Fountain and take it to Bronson. Okay, cool. I'm going the right way. Sorry, guys. I went out the wrong way. I can make a right and a right. Okay. Next left. We're in hot pursuit. We're gonna go get some bad guys. All units, officers need help at 1384 North Bronson. 1384 North Bronson, shots fired. Any units to handle identified. Code 3. Keep straight. All units, further on the shooting at 1384 North Bronson. Alright, let's do this. Adam reports the suspect is on the roof of the JW Robinson building. Ooh, All units approach with caution. Units 49 William 15 Adam to the 1370 Gordon Street. Establish a perimeter and stand by for further. Any other units to respond, code 3. Alright, here we go. Hey, Donnie. Uh-oh. Unit 19 Adam, meet the officer at... We could call SWAT, but they don't come around till like 1972, so we're about 32 years up. Look at those revolvers. Oh, up or down. Find a way up there and stop that son of a bitch, Cole. All units, officer 
down at 1384 North Bronson. Ambulances en route. You're covered, Repeating Bell. All units. Officers still need help on Bronson. Approach with extreme caution. Yep. Move, I've got gotcha. you. LAPD, drop the gun now! Move, I've got ya! Oh, what a cutaway. I first didn't see him right there. I thought I saw him, but then I doubted myself. What are we going to find on him? Just his hands. Right? Blame Roy. Oh, come on, Cole. Let's let that go. Move over. Okay, let's check his pockets. No, I don't want to do that. Okay, let's go down. There we go, Cole. And let's see. Uh -oh. Phone number and restaurant table. So we got one of our weapons there. It's one of the BARs. Okay. Oh, cut away. Cool. I know that guy. Felix Alvaro. Felix He's one of the oh, guys boy. from the ship. His name was on the manifest. Looks like McGoldrick wasn't the only one to get a message. Hey, Alvaro. Hey, hey Lieutenant. Lieutenant. He's just a plain <laughs> detective now, Chico. Who's the jughead? This is my partner, Roy Earl. We just want to find out what happened. What happened is that someone took a shot at my bus. And the cops turned up and started treating me like I'm some sort of pachuco punk. My people have been in California for over 300 years. Very fucking admirable, Felix. You hear anything about the big heist on the Cool Ridge? Yeah, I heard about it. So what happened? Not much. Uh, the cops came and Never. interviewed me and all the other guys on the ship. Back up. I was down at the 111 Club this morning, waiting for the medical examiner to scrape Eddie McGoldrick's brains off the bar. You want to tell me anything about that? I heard that Eddie came into some money. Too bad he didn't keep a low profile. It was a tough break to get through Okinawa and then have to buy it back home. Who's shooting at you, Felix? How the fuck do I know? Uh, because it was with the, one of the guns on the bus? The dead guy on the roof works for Mickey Cohen. Why would Cohen want you dead? I don't Man, I don't know anything about Mickey Cohen or, or any of those gangsters. Hey, 
Your name was in the sniper's notebook. Level with me, Felix. Cohen thinks because we were on the boat, we have the morphine. Courtney's meeting those guys to sort it out. Courtney Sheldon? Yeah. You remember Sheldon, don't you, Cole? We'll be in touch, Felix. You heard that Jack is in L.A.? I saw his name on the manifest. He's been here a couple of months. I'm sure glad to see you got over your wound, Lieutenant. I mean, detective. Pretty cool customer. He's been under fire before. You buying a story? Not for a minute. Oh. Game well came up. Oh, there it is. Game well. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Jack Kelso. Just a second. Kelso. Jack Kelso. Hey, what's Apartment that? 4, 1408 North El Centro Avenue, Hollywood. Hey, Oreos and milk. Thank you. All right, let's go to Kelso's. I'm driving. Oh, no, I don't want to go to Hollywood Station. No. I'm going to go back to... Why is Hollywood Station still uh, lit up for me, guys? I mean, they made me leave there right away. Uh, well, we, we, can, we can answer a few questions, Victoria. I got like 20 minutes, so... After the game. Alright, let's see where we're going. Okay, we are right there, so we're going to make a left, left, right, right. Left, left, right, right. Jack was a company sergeant. He would never get involved in something like this. We brace him and drag him downtown. It won't work. He's a tough customer. Turn left when you can. Okay. Why are you mad at me? Saved everyone's life. Straight on. Straight on. Stay straight on this road. Keep going straight. Take the next left turn. Jack. This is Detective Roy Earl. Hello, Cole. We would like a word. Would you like to come inside? Actually, we'd prefer if you'd come downtown with us. Do you mind? Do I have any choice? No. <laughs> you don't. Are you going to tell me what this is all about? It would be better for all of us if we discussed it at the station. Yes, the station. Bad move, Cole. So, how have you been, Jack? Cut the crap. You pick me up in front of my apartment like a common criminal and then expect small talk? Fuck you. Fro oh, a two minutes frozen. Do you know that there's a gang war going on in L.A. trying to recover that stolen morphine? That has nothing to do with me. Has nothing to do with me. I don't think so. Let's see your eyes. Let's see if they shift. All right, you're looking at me, but I know you're lying. Oh, yep, there you are. See the shift? Yes, bad copy. I'm sure it would be gripping to hear more of your life story, boys, but the truth is, I don't give a fuck. 
You were on the boat, Kelso. Hey, thanks, what Stickler. happened? Do you really think a bunch of Marines could muscle in on the dope rackets in this town? Between the vice squad and the mob, I hear it's pretty sewn up. <laughs> you better watch your mouth. <laughs> I like it. Did you know that Eddie McGoldrick recently came into money and bought a nightclub? No, I didn't know that. Let's look at the eyes. Give it a second. Good cop. Then you didn't know that some mobsters blew his brains out last night. No, I didn't. Okay. You heard that a crate of BARs went missing? No, I didn't. Look at the eyes. Wait for a second. Good copping. I saw Felix Alvaro today. What? Good. How's he doing? How was he? A little He's pale. Right. One of Mickey Cohen's goons had emptied about 60 BAR rounds into the bus he was driving. A public oh. bus in the middle of Hollywood. Are you going to tell me what's going on? Or do more innocent people have to die? Yeah, and what's in it for you, Cole? Newspapers? More glory? Another promotion? Another medal at the expense of men who fought for their country? Count me out. What do you know about the army surplus robbery from the Cool Ridge Jack? the eyes. What I know is that on three separate occasions you would have been dead if it weren't for me. Oh. I don't know anything life. about the robbery. Let's see. People are dying because morphine intended to help servicemen is being used on the street. Now we have guys from our old unit being killed by mobsters. We can put two and two together, Jack. Gratitude isn't a concept that has much effect on you, is it, Cole? Answer the question, Jack. Jack. Let's get this over with. I was interviewed when the robbery took place. I don't have anything further to add. Jack, we just want information. Bullshit, Cole. Did you seriously believe that dragging me down here would get me to give up my own guys? You call yourself a Marine? Trying to make a name for yourself with this shit heel? Look at this chump with his $200 suit and $2,000 car. The tough guy act is really impressive. I like you, Jack. I'd like to make you for this. I really would. I'm going to be working on it and keeping an eye on you. You can go now. Shooting Robert Steiner, 6780 West Sunset Boulevard. The victim is a Chris Majewski. Another name from the manifest? Uh oh. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and take a quick uh, two minute break, maybe August. three minutes, get something to drink, and some of you can go to the restroom. I didn't realize that now we're already gone by. So I'm going to go ahead and go to intermission, and uh, we'll be. We'll, there we go. Take a quick one. Be right back, guys.
Hey everybody, we are back. All right, let's do this. Got a shootout. That's where we're going. We gotta go uh, make a get out of here. Okay, let's see where we're, I always don't know what we're facing. Oh, there's a street. All right. Talk about tension. That was like being trapped in an elevator with a married couple who can't decide whether they love each other or hate each other. We go back a long way. Take the next right turn. You went too easy on him. Next time, you leave it to me. I know how to handle that smug son of a bitch. You don't. Jack will never give up his own men. Take the next left. Okay. Any central unit suspect to be taken into custody at Southern California Auto Club. Stand by for further unit to handle identify code 2. Next right. Stop just ahead. All right. They just walked up and shot the man. Uh-oh. Uh Two of them officers, they went that way. Go on, get after him. Car chase, really? Ah. Didn't expect this to come. I can't hit a target that isn't there, Phelps. Get in close and steer him off the tar. Whoa, this is pretty fast. <laughs> I can't take the shot from here, Cole. Hit him. Clear this asshole off the road. Hit him with your car. Now I can damage your car? It's no good. We need to get closer. Oh, 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 come on, let's go. Step on it, huh? Just give me a little closer. I, I got my trigger finger on it. Oh! Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. <laughs> oh, I didn't see that one coming. Where'd they go? Oh. These guys aren't gonna go quiet. Open fire! Got some music. Right? Rest in peace hat. <laughs> oh. An LAPD file. We have a traitor in our midst. Oh. All of the names on the list have a hit team assigned to them.
Cohen is meeting with Sheldon tonight. We need to get to those guys fast, otherwise there'll be no case. Step on the dead body. Oh. We have oh. to look at damage limitation. We can't allow that strumpet Brenda Allen to bring down the whole administration. We've got to put a lid on the press. Can't someone talk to Harry over at the Times? It's too late. The Times would look ridiculous if we dropped the story now. Who is this Stoker? Stoker's a lily white. Nothing that will fix this in the short term. My law and order credentials are disappearing as we speak. Can we get Brenda to leave town? Yes, we can, but she won't go quietly. Brenda has extensive records. Can she at least lay low? That's already been taken care of. Mayor? Oh, shit. District Attorney? Who is this guy? And what does he want, Horrell? The name's Roy Earl. Detective. Administrative Vice. Aren't you one of the clowns that got us into this mess? Oh, I think that the orders regarding Brenda come down, not up, Mayor. I have a human interest story. It involves a certain LAPD cop, a hero from the war, who has let his beautiful wife and kids down, who has betrayed America for a German junkie whore, who has abandoned his pledge to the LAPD and his commitment to the public we all served. Could be all over the papers by tomorrow, and you would be off the hook. So what do you want in return, Roy? Fingering a fellow officer. Oh, wow. <sighs> Blame Roy. Call. Okay, there can't be too much left. Did I miss something? Yeah, right? Yeah, Roy's bad. He's crooked. I did check the box, John. I can't, I don't think I could check on this guy, right? Okay, shot him there. No, I have not played Battlefield Hardline. I, I don't think I, I don't have any more music. I think I'm good to go. Hear the freaking horn. Okay, I'm gonna go check the body one more time, guys. Okay, there's no more music. Okay, you guys hear no more music too. Okay, cool. Alright, let's get out of here. Okay, let's see where we're going. Uh, make a right and then a left on Wilcox. They're taking out all the guys from the ship. Why? How does that get them the dope? 
They obviously don't know who has the morphine, and they're waiting for someone to crack. It's the next left. It's the next right. Another shootout? What the heck? Hey, Dodo. Throw out the guns. Real clever, asshole. I'm gonna find you. Give it ground, move on. We gotta tag the rest of them. You're covered, Phelps. No kidding. A little swap four action in uh, LA Noir. Oh, you're still alive. Let's talk. <coughs> Tell Courtney. Bad, bad luck. <coughs> it was worth a try. try it was worth a try. <sighs> <laughs> I couldn't do it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> That's a little morbid of me. <laughs> oh, the polar bear. Polar ice bear ice. We've been there before. It really did it. Wonder whether it was worth it. Most people never get the chance to be rich. Wouldn't you risk it? <laughs> I know, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you think I'd be drinking right out of the way I feel. I'm so punchy. I'm tired. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. All right, there's something else. Is that our gun? I hear music. All right, let's go see then. So we can't check him out. All right. Did I kill anybody out? I don't think I killed anybody out here, right? Yeah, they put it there and brought him out. So I guess we're gonna go check out the guy behind the counter. Or over here. Oh, 
it's all bloody. Looks like Sheldon is bringing his own fire team with him. Okay. Anything on that arm? Nope. Because I can. <laughs> cool. Juicy, Beckett, Goldrick, Driscoll. These are good guys. Why did they get wrapped up in this thing? Not everyone has your unwavering restraint in the face of temptation, Cole. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what happens, Victoria. Okay. Let's see where we're going. We just got to go up and make a right or a left. This isn't looking good. I feel like the fat kid at the back of a race. You sure it's Cohen making the hits? All fingers point his way. Your buddies are in way over their heads. Being a Marine doesn't mean shit out here. All right, let's see what happens here. A little red, little red light there. Woohoo! Red, little red light there. Man, once you start veering, wow. And there it is. Chinese ground here. Still there. Doesn't look like that. Well, it kind of does, but not. They've done some changes. Have I ever interrogated somebody in Washington? Yeah. I was a detective for three years. Uh-oh. Oh! Get in close and steer him off the tar. Really? Woman, get out of my way. It's no good. We need to get closer. Well, yeah, but they're going through yards. Wow, this would be one hell of a chase. How could they could turn like a Hit dime? Him. Clear this asshole off the road. Yes. Let's see how fast that. he runs on bare rims. All right, let's do that. Cool. Here we go, Here we go, Yeah! Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. Uh, where's his car? LAPD, put your oh. hands in the air. That was like point blank, man. Where's the car? That's all we get from that? Really, that's it? No, he did not have his hands up. He was going for a gun.
All right, we're going to the meaty place. Okay. This has been one hell of a mission. We're going an hour and 30 minutes now. Oops. Okay, where are we going? Okay, I'm, where am I at? Well, we were at the we were at the uh, Hollywood. Oh, right there. So we're gonna make a U-turn, and uh, we can go left or right. All right. Yep, they sure are. What are you, the fourth dude? Got my way. Fisher LAPD business. Take the next left. Next right. Straight over. All right, here we go. Go straight through. Straight on. You need to take the next right. the guns. Move. Keep that, fucker. Wow. That's a bad language. Goddamn cover! Stay in cover! <laughs> You're fucking tough! I got you now, motherfucker! Get it? Oh! Oh, good! Cover, 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 cover! Oh, nice, nice. Good job, Cole. You are awesome. Yes, 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 I'm yes. gonna put out an APB on every one of the sons of bitches on that. APB the on the car 11K, car 11 King, come in. Car 11 King. 11K, go to Hollywood Station. A Courtney Sheldon is at Hollywood Station requesting an interview with Detective Cole Phelps. Well, I'll be damned. That's not correct protocol, 11K. I'll take that as a roger. Car 11 King en route. Oh, okay, yeah, let's just kill about seven guys and um, not worry about um, paperwork or, you know, calling homicide at all, corner, blah, 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 all right? Giving our statement. What'd you guys think of uh, when they pulled up next to me and I uh, took them out? That was actually kind of cool. <laughs> Turn left when you can. Take the next right.
Take the next left turn. Okay. Turn right here. Turn left when you can. Why would you tell me to turn left when I uh, can't go anywhere? Son of a bitch! Yeah, well, you're about to rat me out, so I don't care about your car. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Yeah, actually, I am right now because you're going to rat me out. You're a jerk. You've been stealing money on the take. I sleep with one woman who's not my wife, and the whole world goes crazy. Well, let's do this. Oh, look at, okay, we're back at the station. Hey! Oh, no! Ah. Roy, in my office, oh. if you please. I'm working a major case. I'm not close, Cap. It's gonna have to wait. Let Phelps do the interrogation. But, Cap... No buts. This is more important. Okay. Let's go find where, where Sheldon's at. Mom took a swipe at me. Put him down with my sap. Yeah. Where's the desk? Where's the desk, Sergeant? You're an interview too, Phelps. Interview too. There's a quack in there with him. A quack? What gives? Beats me. Word came down from the chief. Said it was okay. And I thought this was such a nice area. Oh, be quiet. Where's the interview room two? Okay, interview room two. La 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 la. I thought it was like right by the entrance. Did you read about the Terrelson case in the paper? That's the detective who saw it. Oh, we haven't been in here. That's kind of cool. I've never been in here. Oh, they have the old room there for the... Uh, Okay. Me up to Mulholland. And we did some neck. Grand jury case got thrown out. Now the DA wants my head. Okay, guys. I am like a little confused. Oh, there's one. We finally collared him on Temple. What the heck? Oh my gosh! I have been here like so many times. Interview room two is this way. Oh, duh, the door's open. Du -du -du. Sheldon, is this your attorney? No, detective. This is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He came down here to help me out. How do you do, sir? You stole the morphine from the Coolridge. You can't prove that. Let's see if I can try. And what is your relationship to Sheldon, sir? Tudor mentor. Mr. Sheldon is a medical student of mine. He has a very bright future. Oh, that's nice to know. Too bad all of your war buddies won't get to see your graduation. I would have asked Beckett or Majewski or Driscoll about their involvement, but that's difficult, considering they're all dead. That leaves you, Sheldon. You can't blame their deaths on me, Phelps. Oh, yeah, I can. You're lying, Courtney. The other guys aren't smart enough to attempt something like this. You either give it up, or I go after Jack for it. And how do you prove that, Cole? We know about your showdown with Cohen. Hmm. We found notes on your guys. Cohen is hitting our old unit. He believes we have the morphine. I told him that we don't have it. And that's the truth. Okay. Isn't it, Doc? I believe, Mr. Sheldon. 
I think he's telling the truth, detective. Oh, of course he's telling the truth, because he gave it to you, you. You were on the ship, Sheldon. Yes, that's correct. So you had opportunity. But it doesn't mean that I was involved. Okay, ah, uh, shift the eyes, shift the eyes. You're on the ship. So you don't mind that the mob executed McGoldrick, yeah, uh, Driscoll, and Beckett to get to you? I don't know why you're trying to pin this on me. Where's your proof? Okay, we're gonna go to Beckett's confession. Beckett had a message for you before he died. Oh, yes he did. Bad luck. It was worth a try. I feel bad about Beckett, Phelps. He was a hard charger. Those guys deserve more. I don't blame them for taking their shot. Have you finished, detective? I'm just getting started. You have an answer for everything, Courtney. Let's hope Jack does, because now I'm going after him. Is there anyone you're not prepared to sacrifice? Jack is not in this. He's a good guy. You were Jack, Courtney. I don't care who goes to jail. I just want the morphine off the street. What are you offering, Cole? Don't be ridiculous, son. This man is gambling. What's your offer? Doctor, good to see you. Uh -oh. I'm conducting an investigation. Upstairs in my office, now. This man is about to confess. As of now, you're suspended from duty, pending a fitness review. What are you talking about? You heard the man, Phelps. Upstairs and face the music like the hero you wear. What? just happened. You certainly had us fooled, Detective. Phelps, you're one of my favorite sons. You've broken this old man's Sir, heart. Sir, what is going on? You're suspended, Phelps. And over your badge and gun. Don't keep him waiting. What is going on here? Your wife's attorney has pictures of you and the German. Compromising pictures. She's pressing charges. You'll be formally charged with adultery. Oh, a criminal right? cannot serve as an LAPD officer, as I'm sure you I don't understand. How could you do it, lad? Your wife, your children, consorting with the enemy and a dope fiend at that. You're lucky the war is over. You'd be taken out and shot. The department doesn't need this kind of publicity, Phelps. Hand oh. over the gun, keep your head down until your board hearing. I forbid you to make any comments to the press. What the hell were you thinking? Wow, these guys are assholes. They're all dirty and they're treating Phelps like... Oh. Marie, listen, Marie, I need to explain. Please leave, you're upsetting the girls. Let me see them, Marie. They're my daughters. Go to her, Cole. You have done enough damage here. Do you want me to call the police? For God's sake, Marie. Can't we at least talk? What is there to talk about? Oh, shoot. Do you love her? No, I don't love her. Do you? What were you thinking? What about our children? Can you imagine what this has been like for them? Go away, Cole. My father has hired an attorney, and you will be hearing from him. I'd like to explain, Marie. I'd like to tell you what I've been going through. What you've been going through. I have had reporters camped out on the front lawn all morning. I can't stand it, Cole. I wonder if she packed this good hat. Well, that took a twist. Oh my gosh. And then he goes back to her. And if she's dead, uh, he's in further trouble.
Okay. Just like that. Oh. As soon as I get a chance to save it, I'll save it and then we will uh, we will uh, go to our Q&A for about 15, 20 minutes and then uh, call it a day. That was cool. That was uh, not expected. Okay, hold on, guys. Let's hold on to the questions, and then we'll definitely get. Okay, everyone, keep it down. Cole Phelps joins the arson squad today. <laughs> How'd you like pork in that German whore, Phelps? <laughs> Phelps is up before a review board in December. Until then, he works the arson desk. End of story. Phelps. Yes, sir. I don't care what you did or didn't do, Phelps. I hear you're a good case man. But if you fuck up on my detail, I'll have you out of here before your feet touch the ground. Do we have an understanding? Yes, sir. Cap, we don't want a fucking rat like Phelps. Can it, Tilden? Phelps, I'm partnering you with Herschel Biggs. I don't do partners. You know that, Cap. You do now, Biggs. Social basket cases like you two should get along just fine. Biggs will show you the ropes, Phelps. This is arson. There are no ropes. It shouldn't take long, then. Start with these two. House fires. 326 South Kenmore Avenue. Stefan's family was out of town when it happened. Then go to 4414 Rosewood, family by the name of Sawyer. Fire brigade will be on location. Are they suspicious, Captain? That's for you to find out, Detective. Now get out of here. Both of you. Get out! All right, let me uh, go ahead and uh, quick game. All right. Go hold on, guys. Wow, that was a. Uh, that was something else. Didn't see that one coming. Wow, that was actually kind of pretty cool. They really added to the story on that one. Um, all right, so let's see. Uh, hey, DJ Weapon. The woman playing Cole's wife is his actual wife or the actor playing Cole. Well, that's cool. Um, okay. Oh, this is your favorite. Zach's your favorite partner? Okay, that's cool. Is arson really that bad? Um, cause you're just... Well, so some of you have heard me before. Um, no, it's not that bad. It's just that homicide's the best. And, and then um, uh, vice... You're on your way up. Okay, so you're on your way up from vice and then you, you should be trying to go to homicide. Not everyone wants to go to homicide, but for a lot of us, homicide is like the creme de la creme. But arson's like way down there. Um, so. Uh, yes, Bomber, you will. Uh, it's coming up. This is so, just so you guys know, the only reason why this was a last minute stream was because I have a lot going on this week and I don't know what content I'm going to be able to get out. And today was the only day that I can actually squeeze in the stream. Tomorrow shot. Wednesday, I start my work week on Wednesday. So, and I lost Sunday because I was called in Sunday for 
um, overtime. And so I lost all of yesterday. I got off at one o'clock this morning, blah, 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 blah. So we're not gonna be able to uh, really get much content. Now I gotta try to squeeze a SWAT 4 video between now and Friday. So that's gonna be kind of tough. All right, uh, Ray's, it's your bedtime, Ray. Uh, I have not tried Rainbow Six. I know when I was looking at it, it looks pretty awesome, so I definitely want to play it. Uh, let me see here. Let me go to this stream here. Let me go to these notes, because this one works easier for me. Um, Chris Cole, sus. Man, Cole, Cole sleeps with a woman and is suspended. These guys are stealing money, letting the dope run all over the place, and then they're like, oh my gosh, I still can't believe it. <laughs> Mark, did I enjoy moving the dead guy's head around? I, I just thought it was funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. What do you mean, how do you, de reverse, what do you mean, how do you determine the desk when you get promoted? Do, uh, Menster, what do you mean, what kind of things, like that kind of stuff? Um, back in the day, it did. Those, those, this, like, this storyline's, like, really close to, some of the things that used to happen, um, I had friends that said that um, they would get uh, officers would get fired if they found that they were cheating on their wives. So that stuff did really happen back um, before the 1970s. Uh, okay, Mark, thank you about the Rainbow Six uh, disclaimer. Uh, Among Us is probably not going to be till next week due to the fact that this week is shot for me. So look for if you guys are on Discord, look at Discord and um, uh, and we'll make that announcement. Uh, I was wondering if you're about to go to bed. No, I don't. I am not about to go to bed. I got to go finish up some stuff because I got some people coming tomorrow to demolish my entire kitchen. I would be without a kitchen for about three weeks. So I got to finish putting everything away. Yeah, right? Justice for Phelps. <laughs> I don't know anything about Mississippi, uh, E. Washington. So um, I, I don't know what kind of policing they do down there. So I don't, we definitely don't want to make a judgment. Um, I'm sure it's just as difficult in, anywhere. You want to imagine Chris analyze the GTA 5 heist somehow? Well, we're working on doing GTA, so maybe that'll happen. Hey, Chris, when you can grow the sheriff mustache? I don't know. Is the whiz. Maybe maybe for a no-shave November. So, might. I might. Uh, reverse. Okay, so how does your department decide what detective goes? Basically on the supervisor. The supervisor will decide on what cases you're going to get. So, it's really on that. Um, some people, they can ask, depending on if they have a specialty. So, um, but you, at the bigger departments, you kind of have your choice of where you may, or you try to, work your way up through different units at bigger departments. Uh, Mark says, what's the craziest thing I've ever found during a search warrant? Three million dollars. Three million dollars cash. Hey, Matthias, it's okay. Uh, see, Edwin, everyone's a patrol officer, Edwin. Everyone starts off in patrol. You start off as a patrol officer, blue uniform, just handling your radio calls and Looking for bad people doing bad stuff to good people. So that's what you start. You build your expertise after about four or five years and then you start testing for different units, detectives, school resource, narcotics, whatever that may be once you get your, once you get your, uh, your experience. Bandemo threw it out there. Minecraft server is still moving. So we got that coming soon, guys. Bandemo has been working on that for us. So we'll have our own Minecraft server. Uh, thanks, Holden. I really appreciate that. Thank you. It's a really nice comment. Just remember, when you do become a police officer, we treat, uh, we are there to help people, okay? We are there to make their lives better. If you remember that, you will always be a good cop. Uh, is the whiz. How do you work your way up to SWAT? You, um, got to train hard, man. Got to train hard. Got to train, you know, be physically fit, mentally fit, and, uh, eventually just take your interview and be, um, be, you know, make, make the selection process. Show everybody you have the maturity to be on the SWAT team. Uh, so Mark says, uh, hey, thanks for, uh, that'll be Wednesday. 
So, Mark, I just, I just want your guys' luck. Just wish me good luck, and uh, hopefully I'll get through that. Uh, let me see. Blue's asked, does the California cops salary pay well? Yes. Yes, we are the highest paid police officers in the United States, so it does pay very well. Um, a lot of us don't live in Los Angeles or, like, downtown area. A lot of us live in the suburbs, which is much cheaper. So that's how we're able to afford to still kind of, like, live. My drive to work is 35 to 40 minutes. Uh, well, yeah, I could have taken 300 and they would have never noticed. I could have taken a million and nobody would have ever noticed, but I would know. And I'd have to look at myself in the face every day, look at myself in the mirror every day. So that's not what I signed up for. I'll take my, I'll take my salary and live off of that. Um, have I ever been in a situation with a corrupt cop? No, but I've been in... I've had to report bad conduct. I, mean, I don't want to say they were bad, but I had to report excessive force. Um, actually, that's about it. Just excessive force. I had to report an officer for excessive force. But uh, beyond that, I really work with some great people. So, uh, Playing Call of Duty and Halo. Hey, what's up? Uh, warrior Mindset. You know what? I appreciate that. You know what it's all about? I'll be honest with you. It's just knowing why I'm out there. I'm just out there to try to help people. It's something that I've always been, it's something I've been doing since I was 13 years old. I can't get it out of my blood. And yeah, I mean, it does it bother me with the BLM and the TIFA. Yeah, of course it does. But um, I know why I'm out there. And I go out there every day doing my job. PC coming next month. Cool slide, slide, get your PC. Awesome. Okay, how long does SWAT training take? Well, you're always training, but your actual SWAT school is two weeks of just intensive, hardcore training. People don't make it. Even people who are physically fit don't make it because it is brutal, brutal, brutal. And then you train every month. Every month we train. So it's just constant training because that's we got to be the best. We got to be the best at our weapons, non-lethal weapons, our movement. We got to move like a machine. That uh, well, well geared, well greased machine. Uh, Donnie asks, "Are we allowed to make arrests when off duty?" Yes, we are. We're always a police officer, twenty four seven. John Doe, it's busy right now, so it's a lot of, lot of, lot of crime. Let me see. Holden Taylor, what is the toughest thing about being a cop? And do you have to be a detective to have an unmarked vehicle? Um, toughest thing about being a cop. Um, I don't know. Let me let me think about that. No, you do not have to be a detective to have an unmarked. In patrol, you can't have an unmarked, but we have a lot of people who have unmarked vehicles. Um, I have an unmarked vehicle, and I'm a SWAT commander. I'm not a detective anymore. Uh, Hector, cool. You too, man. You too. Uh, Coca-Cola is. Uh, John, yes, I am. Uh, e. Washington, I would go to the military first and then go to um, become a police officer. be great experience. Oh, uh, Ray, what was for dinner? I haven't had dinner yet. I got to go downstairs and start cooking it. I don't know what we have. So I'll have to go take a look. And we, uh, can we have it? Shadid, can we have the mustache back? We may have it back for November. My wife's going to hate me. Uh, Matthews, don't let the cooks and be a limited bug you. I back the blue. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Have I ever been shot or stabbed? No. Have I ever been hit? Mm, run over? No. Been in a lot of fights. But never shot or stabbed. So, knock on wood. Uh, Mark says, if you could ever be given the training experience to work any job in the world, in any position, at the moment you learned a job, you get the position, what would it be? Ooh, what would it be? Oh, what? Any job. Any job in the world. Any job in the world. See, the problem with that is that do we go after money? I mean, you could be a doctor. You could be rich. Um, I don't know. That's a good. Pilot. Pilot. Fighter pilot. Fighter pilot. Pilot. Fighter pilot. Absolutely. Yes. Fighter pilot. Uh, let's see. Cool. B-Day is coming soon for Victoria. The Blue Turtle. Top three exercises of prep for SWAT school. Um, Pull-ups. Running. And push-ups, definitely. 
Uh, Minster, what stuff would I have added? I don't know, man. This is a great game. It's like very realistic. The dialogue is right on for that era. Um, the type of police work is right on. The type of way the way evidence was collected, the way they talk to each other, the drinking on duty, the womanizing. All of those things are just true of the way it was back in that time frame. I mean, I can't even imagine that that would, like, really existed, but I know it did. Um, favorite non-lethal 40 millimeter uh, grenade that was from Bomber Darian what's the worst injury you ever have I have a 3 millimeter slip disc on my neck still it can only be repaired with surgery maybe so never going to do it uh, Shadi can you give us real life training or exercises we can do to improve basic reflexes that you SWAT guys go to uh, it's actually I'll be honest with you it's a hit training you know the HITT training you don't want to just do static uh, weights and you just don't want to do running. You want to do explosive exercising like, you know, um, pull-ups, push-ups, uh, box jumps. You want to do, um, you want to do fast sprints. You want to be able to carry heavy objects, you know, that, that kind of the CrossFit type of stuff. That stuff will definitely prepare you for everything. Let's see, Warrior Mindset. You remind me of the guys that served with the Army. We did our job and thankless as it is. We knew that the country meant more to us than... Yes, absolutely, Warrior. Absolutely. Nigel, hey, Chris, what do you think is the best cop car? My favorite is a Crown Vic. I missed a Crown Vic, but I'm in love with the Ford Explorer now just because of the way it's designed. Have you ever really used the washroom and get assigned a call? Yes, it sucks. Coca-Cola is the best. Uh, no, I have a chief's oral. So the chief is interviewing me for captain. I, I'm, I don't want to be a chief of police. Eh, too much politics. Let me see. Since I can't become Honolulu Police Department after the Marines would be good. Ah, LAPD would be good. Frick yeah. Okay, for Riska. Wow, you have 13 subs. Congrats. Got to go. Bit of homework to do. Thank you very much, Riska. Wolves, Cashew, what would be the best military branch? I think all of them. Serve anywhere. Serve anywhere. So, just serve. Ray, ever got a splinter on the jaw? <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> Freaking Ray. Uh, Mark, um, a real, I like, uh, looked myself in the eye and went astronaut. like to be above there in space. Oh, I, I didn't think of astronaut. Yeah, that would be cool. All right, what's your favorite animal? Mine's a black panther. I'm obsessed with them. That's Victoria. My favorite animal. The monkey, right? Fling poo. Oh, uh, Denis, what do you mean, what is my background? Elaborate. That's a candy, Washington, but yeah, you know what? It's fun, right? Uh, can you see yourself being a cop in London with no pistol but baton and pepper spray? I could if I was always trained, if I was from there and I didn't know any better. So, I mean, you, you know, but since I'm from here, from America, uh, no, I wouldn't want to do that job. That's just crazy to me, but um, love and respect to them. I will be in Discord later, Victoria, definitely, yes, and once I get some stuff done. What is the tamest or the quietest thing you've ever come by during a tense warrant? What do you mean, Mark? Don't quite understand. Uh, e, we're going to be doing a big, uh, I'm going to be doing a video on the weapons that we use on SWAT. But if you look at some of the posts I do in the community channel, I'll post some of the weapons. And um, I do have, no, that's on my uniform. So I will be posting more stuff. But we have just about everything available to us. Firestorm, nice. I wanted to be a fighter pilot. Even got to a natural aptitude flying yeah, I ended up finding out I was colorblind, so couldn't be a pilot. Uh, um, Mal what are Malin uh, Kenny, what are Malawans? Because we have Malawans. We don't have uh, German Shepherds. We have Malawans. I think that if I'm pronouncing it right. Uh, what sidearms are commonly used for law enforcement? I think you should play the game Flashing Lights. It's on stream. Okay. Um, it's, it's different everywhere, Holden. We carry the Six Hour uh, 226. So, um, but it's different everywhere. Uh, a few years ago, we were doing the uh, Springfield XD45. Before that was the HK45. And then before that was the Colt 45. So uh, it just all depends on the agency. So everyone's different. People have Berettas, that type of stuff. So it's really what your agency wants. Um, uh, let me see here. Chris, you're really ready to leave the SWAT team? No reverse. I am not. This is like... 
this is a very big dilemma in my life reverse. I'll be very, very honest with you. Even my wife's like, what are you doing? You don't want to be a captain. So this is, uh, oh, I don't know, man. It's a tough decision. Um, yeah. It's a tough decision. Uh, Space Force, that sounds good. Do you like any John Wayne movies? The Green Berets is my favorite John Wayne movie. Uh, we may play some Payday Wolves. Monster, I have seen Heat. And think about this. That really happened in downtown Hollywood at the North Hollywood Bank Robbery. Look that up. The footage is phenomenal. Heat got it right on that one. Oh, Danny, where are your grandparents and parents from? Um, all from America. Um, we'd have to go deeper. I'd have to go look at my great... So my parents are born, like my dad was born in Bakersfield. My mom was born in Virginia. Um, my grandma was born in Las Cruces, New Mexico. Um, my grandma on my dad's side was born in Los Angeles. And then even their parents were born in California. So I'd have to go like great, great. We'd have to go like, like 1850s to find where we immigrated from. Uh, compared to every raid or warrant you served, was the quietest, the tamest of warrants you've done? We actually served a search warrant and um, nobody was there. They got wind we were coming and they literally made their beds and cleaned up the house. All they had to have done is left a cake on the, the kitchen table. That's how insulting it was. It was like, you kidding me? And we were going after a major bad guy. So how we got wind that we were coming, I don't know. But it was damn scary to walk inside of a quiet, empty house when someone should have been there. Um, tell us your funniest arrest you did and you cannot help from laughing. Who is, let me think about that. What countries outside of America have you visited? Uh, just Mexico. Oh, and Canada. Canada, Mexico. North America, South America, that's it. Um, haven't really got into traveling yet. I'm hoping that I will retire and do that eventually. Have you ever done something on the job that you regret it afterwards? Ooh. Maybe calling someone like uh, maybe calling someone like a effing asshole, you know, because um, I really don't talk that way sometimes. I really don't, you know, I really don't talk that way to people. So uh, maybe that's about it. Um, but no, I no, actually, I don't. I I pretty much a straight shooting straight arrow person. So I pride myself on that. Um, what is the last movie you watched? I just watched Mad Max Fury Road a couple hours ago. I took a look at Flashing Lights. Is that a pumpkin? Yes, it is. It's the pumpkin from our contest right now. Favorite sport is... Well, I don't really have a favorite sport right now. I'm a little upset with the, uh, the whole uh, people putting names of rapists on their helmets it was football but kind of off of football right now when they put the name of a rapist on a helmet <laughs> yeah right so i go groove with you bomber cool templar yeah i know my warrior i agree with you Yes, the streets will be just fine without me. There's a lot of good girl, well, men and women. I'll say girls. Men and women out there. They'll be just fine. Oh, yeah. E. Washington. Uh, you don't even have to put in for it, Holden. You don't have to promote. You could just stay a co street cop. What kind of cake? Chocolate cake. Uh, we're planning on I'm planning on planning foes phobia. Planning on it. So we're going to hopefully be somebody doing something in a week or two. Uh, well, the leak, the, the leak didn't come from us. It came from the agency that we were helping. Love Trucking Longhorns. Oh, I didn't even get to read that one. Yeah, I'm more with you too, John. Yes, yes, I, Mark, I want to do, I want to do that. I, I want to do, go to spooky places. In fact, um, on Tuesday, I'm going to Haunted Mansion in Las Vegas. I already bought my tickets and we are going to be going inside of this where they, I guess they used to do like 
Satan worshiping in a basement and people have sent possessed dolls. It's uh, some cool place in Vegas, some haunted mansion where uh, all these things are there. So I'm going to be going into there and I'm hoping going to be able to record. So we'll see if I get some footage for you guys and do a little video. Uh, I didn't know. I never wanted to be FBI. Buy you saw four and four. Uh, what's your favorite spaghetti western? That would be the good, the bad, and the ugly with Clint Eastwood. I got to work on his film. Uh, I got to work on a film with his daughter, Francesca Eastwood. Uh, I did repel from a helicopter. You can actually see that on my video. Um, I think when you see my cop trailer video, you can see me repelling from the helicopter. What's up, Charlie? Hey, Garrett. Yes, Haunted Mansion Vegas. Hey, Garrett. Uh, if you haven't sent the package, you could drop it by and give me a visit. I could, Hallmark. I could. But it's in the mail. <laughs> Maybe I'll find you, Mark. Maybe I already know where to find you. I'm just kidding. Uh, how, ha, ha, I wonder if the next swap for mission has happened in real life. I don't know. You'll just have to wait. You can always tell when I film SWAT 4 because of the shirt I'm wearing. Clue. So if I'm wearing this one, I haven't shot it yet. If I'm wearing something different, yes, I did. Uh, I will. I'll check that out there, is Wiz. Helicopter pilot's cool, Ray. What's my biggest fear of being a police officer? Again, my daughter getting hurt because I work with my daughter. My daughter is a cop. So my biggest fear is her getting hurt. So keep her in your prayers. Uh, Mark, I'll, I'll be on Discord for the week, so weekend. So maybe we'll hook up, man. I'll be staying at uh, uh, on the Las Vegas Strip. How far are you from the Las Vegas Strip, Mark? I know, Reverse. Trust me. That's on my mind. Hey, Matthias. Take it easy, buddy. Cool, Fox. Thanks, Holden. I really appreciate that. That's really nice of you to say. I think I'm a cool guy. <laughs> um, oh, okay, Mark. What is your weight and height? I am 5'6", and I weigh 145 pounds. Oh, Dread. I love Dread 2012. Right? Wow. That's pretty cool. Uh, Jordan will. She already is. I'm already seeing it. Oh, okay, cool. All right, Mark. Cool. Uh, we don't have any armed citizens in, the, in California, so I wouldn't know um, if that is a problem. Uh, Vlog, I have played Fallout 1 and 2, so yes. Um, I had, do have Fallout 76 that I'm thinking of playing, so we'll see if I jump onto that soon. Have you ever, have you ever watched the movie Dog Day Afternoon? Yes. Do you recall being in a similar situation like that movie? Maybe it will be a time for a video on that. Please say hi, Lala. Layla? Layla? Layla. Layla. Sorry, Layla. Hi, Layla. Do you expect this channel to explode in people, or are you happy with the group now? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm is I was happy at a thousand. Um, we're good. It's manageable. I get a comment on everyone's comments. Um, do I think it's gonna explode? Uh, no, I don't. I don't think I'm that interesting. I don't think I'm gonna be like, like donut operator or have. I, I don't ever think. I don't in, ever anticipate being over, maybe twenty five thousand, maybe at the very most. So if it gets more above that, that will be a huge shocker for me. Uh, so I'm happy. I am happy with the group. Very happy. Um, favorite slasher flick? Uh, Halloween. Hey Chris, stopping by. Hey one ace. I'm fifty-two. 
Well, I'm actually 51. I'll be 52 this Saturday. That's right. It's my birthday this Saturday. What would be your first plan if you ever have a zombie apocalypse? To go to my station, get the Bearcat, all the rifles and ammunition I could put in the Bearcat, drive to my house, park that puppy in my garage, and board, bolt down the house and ride it out. Maybe take over them all. Would that be too cliche? Uh, thanks, Donnie. I was actually up in your area lecturing one time, though I travel and do uh, lectures. Um, so, you never know. You never know. Uh, slides, you just gotta keep at it, man. Look at me. I did, uh, didn't plan on this happening, so. I, I appreciate that, Blue. Very nice of you to say. Uh, one day you need to come to Texas. Uh, I've been to Texas quite a bit. End of Watch is one of my favorite cop movies, Bomber. Good. They did everything right until the end. I'm sorry, but LAPD would have deployed so many cops to their aid. Uh, that ending would have never have happened. I wonder if all your subscribers have to comment on one video. Yes, I know. That would be scary. Uh, did they ever catch the mafia members? Yes, they did, and they're dead. The Mexican mafia killed them in prison. So, yes, they're dead. Uh, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Ha, da, 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 da. Do you train any martial arts as a hobby? I do not, but I want to start. Hello, Paul. Hey, guys. Um, three more minutes, and I got to go. I got to get some stuff going, so I got to go feed my doggies and do a couple things. I may be back on later on tonight, so kind of like keep, uh, keep that bell notification because you just don't know when I'm going to come back because I may. Uh, okay. Cool. Never been shot, so I don't know what it feels like, but I'm sure it feels awful. You better accept me in the mall. I'll be a peaceful survivor. <laughs> hey, thanks for the early birthday. Uh, cool one, Ace. Where are you from, one, Ace? If you could live in a castle for free, but it was heavily haunted, like you can hurt, would you live in that castle? No, I am not a fan of haunted crap. Uh, pretty happy birthday. Cool, man. Thanks, Paul. I'm doing good. Uh, that would be a work. My plan, find a small island and plant some crops. Yeah, that's good. Uh, yeah, actually, no, I, I, we train in Krav Maga. We do a little Krav Maga. I mean, our, our instructors are Krav Maga, so our style of fighting when we're in fights is Krav Maga. Quick and fast, explosive. You know that if you take Krav Maga. So, yes, I would continue to kick, uh, take Krav Maga. No, I already missed you. Thanks, Holden. Did you go to prom? I went to three proms. Sophomore, junior, and senior year. I will say hi to the doggos. Philippines, cool. Cool. Cool, Mark. Thanks, Mark. I appreciate that. Have you ever in a craze where the mafia mob is unsuspected to be in... Is, yes, I have. I have definitely, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Russian mob right now. Russian mob is controlling all the gambling in most of the cities in Southern California. All right, slides. We'll see you. If you got called to abandoned house, would you explore it? Nope. Oh yeah, we do all the time. We have to go. We have to go clear abandoned houses, abandoned apartment complexes, abandoned buildings all the time. Uh, have you ever been close to one where you almost got shot though? Yes, I was in a shooting. It was a forty-five second gun battle, so I didn't get hit. But yes, I had bullets whizzing by my head. Have you ever been to Germany? No, but my mom lived there until she was 13. She was born in Virginia, was an army brat, left uh, to Germany when she was still a baby and didn't come back until she was 13. Um, my grandfather left his wife, my grandma, and married a German lady who came back to the United States with them. So my step-grandmother uh, was German until she passed away, unfortunately. So... Why y'all want to take down the Russian mob? <laughs> I had to say that one. Oh, someone's trying to. Someone's trying to call Garrett. You can't call me on Discord when I'm sitting here talking to people. All right, hold in. Thanks. Was it scary? Yes. Very scary. That wasn't scary at the time. It's scary after when you're like, what just happened.
If you would be only the person in the world, would you? If you would be only the person in the world. No, I like people. I, I love talking to people. I'm talk, I, if we could chat live like this where you guys get to talk to me, that would be awesome. So, um, have you ever had a Crown Vic as a service car? Yes, but I currently have a Ford Explorer now. Uh, just a couple more questions, guys, and then I got to call it. Sorry, man. I do apologize. I could do this all night. Trust me, I could. Your ability to remain positive, even though you undoubtedly have some heroin experiences, is really impressive. I hope I can sometime achieve a level of mental resilience one day. Music is the key, Neko Giewer. Neko Giewer. Music. I listen to my music all the time. When I'm cleaning, I got my air buds in. I'm listening to music. When I drive to work, I listen to music. When I drive home, I listen to music. I just love living the music. Just, it just like... I don't like listening to news because just like, argh. no, music is the key. Mark, final question for me. Are you going to make more card opening videos and taking about me? Oh, shit, Mark. Are you the one that wants those? Because if, yeah, if you do, yes, absolutely. Absolutely, I'll make some more videos on that. As a matter of fact, I took, I took this box to work for me with me, Mark, because I was anticipating making little videos showing you. Watch, I'll show you. I was going to make little videos of card openings on all these cards. So I had, see? Ooh, I know they're upside down, but see? I was going to open all those up for you, Mark, and make a video. But I forgot who wanted them, so you do. Okay, cool. We'll do that. Uh, okay. Sound good, Fox? Thanks. I know it's not you, but Demo. Thanks, guys. Now you will keep it the good work. I appreciate the best cop ever, honorable. A bit of a switch question, but do sports cars ever get con um, considered as cop cars? Not for us. Oh, actually, LAPD did. They, they uh, not LAPD. Uh, California Highway Patrol adopted Ford Mustangs at one time because, and the two-seaters, because they were so fast. So, yes, it does happen. It did happen before. Um... So, did anybody ever take you down? Yeah, oh yes, I got my ass handed to me a few times. So, small person. Um, would you ever recommend for someone trying to become a police officer? Yes, my daughter's a police officer. So, if I can let my daughter or tell my daughter to be a police officer, I'd definitely tell anyone to be a police officer. It's a great, rewarding job. Oh, okay, 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 uh... Uh, Mark, cool, cool. Raise, I got that. Okay. Uh, yes, honorable. I haven't been in close combat before. Very close. And uh, Dylan, my day's good. All right, Ray, Ray, take it easy. You should open a PO box for fan stuff. Hey, that's actually a good idea, Bedemo. We'll talk about that later. Uh, thanks, E. Washington. Uh, Daniel, no, I'm not a soccer fan. Not. I don't understand it. I've never understood it. I'm sorry. My daughter's played soccer. Um, and maybe that's why I don't like soccer because I used to hate being out there in the cold field at 6 o'clock in the morning. And it's like, mm, so. Uh, uh, do I recommend corrections? It's if you like corrections. If you want to be confined. No, I don't. I don't recommend it. I think you should be out in the streets helping people. Why do you want to be around a bunch of bad people all the time? Be around good people and do things for them. So, no. All right, Airhorn. Sorry, Airhorn. Hey, timelet, timeless. I got to go, guys. Um, gosh, the numbers are going up. People, more people are joining the stream right now, and I'm going. Um, so I do apologize. And uh, thanks, guys. We will do this again next Tuesday, 4:30. Next Tuesday, 4:30 Pacific Standard Time. Fox will put it in Discord. Um, it'll be on the community channel um, as a picture, reminding everybody the time for Ali Noir. Next Tuesday, 4.30. I should have a SWAT video uh, for this Friday and a special video on Sunday if I can get everything recorded before I go on my little mini vacation. All right, guys. Hey, on guard. Sorry. Uh, all right, guys. I got to go. But remember, take care of yourself. Take care of one another. We're definitely going to all get through COVID-19 together. Wear your mask. Wash your hands. And... Um, uh, I was going to say, uh, <laughs>
This phone call thing is killing me. Who's calling me on Discord? Seriously, I gotta go. Uh, my wife's gonna kill me if I don't take care of the stuff she told me to take care of. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, what was I gonna say? Um, anyways, all right guys, take it easy. Take care of yourself, take care of one another. We will get through COVID-19 together. Until then, I'm making content for you to watch while you're on, lo <clears throat> while you're on lockdown. This is Krista Kopp. Until next time, peace.